Hey there people, ever wonder why chili makes your mouth feel like it's on fire? All thanks to a fascinating compound called capsaicin. Capsaicin is primarily found in the white pith of chili peppers, the part that holds the seeds. This compound gives the chili peppers their signature beef. Capsaicin is a type of capsaicinoid, a group of naturally occurring compounds that are alkaloids. Alkaloids are nitrogen-containing compounds known for their significant biological effects. Capsaicin's molecular structure includes a long hydrophobic tail which makes it insoluble in water. When you eat a chili, capsaicin binds to a specific receptor in your mouth called TPRVP or Transient Receptor Potential Valinoid 1. This receptor is a type of ion channel that usually responds to heat and physical abrasion. The binding of capsaicin to TPRV1 causes conformational change in the protein structure, which allows positively charged ions like calcium and sodium to flow into the cell. This influx of iron depolarizes the neuron, generating an action potential that travels through sensory neurons to your brain, creating the sensation of burning. The binding also lowers the threshold temperature at which these receptors get activated, causing them to open at body temperature. That's why when you eat something spicy, it feels like your mouth is on fire. To cool the burn, a drinking water will not help because, as I mentioned earlier, capsaicin contains a large hydrophobic tail which doesn't allow it to dissolve well in water. Instead, try milk or other dairy products. They contain casein, a protein that binds to capsaicin molecules and helps to neutralize the effects by forming a complex that can be washed away. Capsaicin is also used in medicine to relieve pain. When applied topically, capsaicin initially stimulates TPRV1, causing a burning sensation. However, with repeated application, capsaicin depletes substance P, a neuropeptide involved in transmitting pain signals to the brain, leading to long-term pain relief for conditions like arthritis, neuropathy, and psoriasis. Capsaicin can induce apoptosis or programmed cell death in various cancer cell lines, indicating its potential as a cancer therapy agent. Another study demonstrated that capsaicin can activate brown adipose tissues, which helps to burn calories and reduce body fat. Uh, researchers found that capsaicin activates a protein called AMP-activated protein kinase, which plays a role in cellular energy hemostasis. Furthermore, a 2020 study in nutrients highlighted capsaicin's role in modulating gut microbiota, potentially contributing to improved gut health and reducing inflammation. Here's a fun fact. Birds can eat the hottest chili peppers without any problem because they lack TPRV1 receptors that respond to capsaicin. This evolutionary trait helps chili plants spread their seeds over large areas, as birds play a crucial role in seed dispersal. So next time you feel the burn from a spicy chili, you'll know the fascinating science behind it. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more cool biology facts. Stay curious and I'll see you in the next video.